So you finally figured out how to get consistent characters with AI. But now how do you get multiple consistent characters all in one image generation? I've been asking that question for months, and now I finally have a super simple hack that doesn't involve hit or miss in painting or learning Photoshop. It does, however, require a subscription to Design AI. First, I'm going to show you how simple this is and some of my first results, and then I'm going to give you my top three tips to troubleshooting any lingering inconsistencies. So by the end of this video, you'll be able to craft multiple character scenes for your stories, not only with consistency, but with ease, too. I'm working on a short, silly video about a mischievous monkey and his neighbors in the jungle. And I want to have all five of these characters in the final scene. Now, first of all, the way this latest update to Design's consistent character panel looks makes it seem like being able to select multiple characters may be coming soon. When I look here, it seems like I should be able to add another character, right? But as of this recording, there's no way to do this. I can only X out or replace my character. But if any of you awesome peeps behind Design AI are watching this, and this idea isn't on the roster yet, well, consider this a friendly nudge. Please add this feature and soon. While we wait, though, there's another way to create images with multiple consistent characters that's super simple. All you have to do is create a separate consistent character that's trained on all of your characters. If you've never used Design AI, I have a step-by-step -step tutorial for how to train a single consistent character right up here. And I used that exact same process, just now, only instead of uploading various angles of the same character, I uploaded just one photo of each character in my story, making sure to name each file with the character's name. Then I'll describe each of the characters up here in this character description, and down below, I'm going to describe each of their actions individually. Always use their names, just as you typed them in their image file names. And avoid using pronouns. This way, there's no confusion about who's who. We're pushing some limits trying to do this with five characters, so sometimes you might get some weird-looking hybrid creatures. Hit the regeneration button until you get something decent. Play with the wording in your prompt. I'm happy with this image overall. The wise monkey does look a bit off, so I'm just going to crop him out. No big deal. And I can just cut to a separate close-up of him since he's got dialogue in this part of the story. Now, we used five characters for this example, and like I said, I think that's pushing the limits. But here's what's so cool about this hack. Using this same exact character training we can put just two characters into the scene by editing the prompt. Like Milo and the wise monkey walking down a jungle path. Or the leopard and the tortoise taking a stroll. We can even have the parrot join them, hitching a ride on the tortoise. All of those came out amazing. If you're a perfectionist like me, though, you may have noticed that there are still some slight inconsistencies when compared to my uploaded images. For example, this is the reference image for the parrot, and you can see that his coloring is off. But all I had to do to fix that was to describe his coloring in more detail, and I got a much better match. So tip number one is to get super specific. Name each character in the image and describe their coloring clothing, hair color, eye color, any accessories they wear, etc. These images with the parrot and Milo look much better. Here's the prompt I used before, and this is the new and improved prompt. The same goes for the tortoise. Here's our reference image. For this image, I didn't bother describing the tortoise, but just by adding one more detail, that the tortoise is green, this next generation came out much closer to the character we originally created. If you're diving deep into your character descriptions, but still seeing your characters change from image to image, try this next idea. Tip number two is to upload multiple angles for all of your characters. Design supports up to 30 images for any one character training, so you've got plenty of space to experiment. 
In the examples I just showed you, I only uploaded one image for each character. That could be why their proportions seem to fluctuate, like how this leopard looks a little thicker and less feminine in this image versus this one, for example. When I added all of the various poses I had for my characters, I got much better results. Here are a few before and after images using the same exact prompt to show you the difference. But sometimes, no matter what you do, for whatever reason, you can't get the image you're looking for. And the more characters you have in your scene, the more likely it is that something will get lost in translation. So tip number three is to think outside the box. If I couldn't get this group shot to work, for example, here's another way I could have handled this. By scrolling from side to side with close-ups of each character, we get a round table kind of effect that could still work for this story. If you can't win, just zoom in. Rethink how else you can visualize your story without driving yourself crazy prompting. If you're new to design, check out my full walkthrough on creating consistent characters in this video right here. And if you're still not ready to use a paid app, this video will show you a free tool that does consistent characters too.